99% of people don't know the correct way to drink water. Buddhist 5 Easy Rules Have you ever paused to consider how you drink water? It seems like such a basic instinctive action, doesn't it? You feel thirsty, grab a glass, fill it up, and gulp it down without a second thought. But what if I told you that this simple everyday act could be the key to unlocking better health, boundless energy, and even a longer, more vibrant life? Stick around because, in the next few minutes, I'm going to reveal an ancient wisdom that could transform your health. And it all starts with how you drink water. Imagine waking up every single day feeling refreshed, energized, and ready to conquer the world. Picture a life free from unexplained fatigue, nagging digestive issues, and those mysterious chronic health problems that seem to plague so many of us. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, according to an ancient Ayurvedic tradition that has stood the test of time, this could be your reality. And it all comes down to one simple daily habit that 99% of people are doing wrong. The villagers leaned in, intrigued. How could something as common as water, something they used every day without a second thought, hold such power? The guru continued. His words measured and deliberate. Your body is a temple, and water is its holy water. But like any sacred ritual, there is a right way and a wrong way to partake in it. He paused, letting his words sink in. Most of you, he said, sweeping his gaze across the gathered faces, are doing it wrong. Now you might be thinking, come on, it's just water. How complicated can it be? I get it, I was skeptical too when I first heard this. But hear me out because what the guru revealed next could change everything you thought you knew about hydration and health. First, let's talk about why water is so crucial. Our bodies are like incredibly complex machines, and water is the oil that keeps everything running smoothly. It makes up 60 to 70% of our body weight and is essential for every single process in our body. From digestion to circulation, from temperature regulation to waste removal, water is the unsung hero behind it all. Think about it this way. Every cell in your body is like a tiny factory constantly working to keep you alive and functioning. These cells need water to produce energy, transport nutrients, remove waste, and maintain their shape. Without adequate water, these cellular factories start to malfunction, and that's when we start experiencing all sorts of health issues. But here's where things get really interesting. The guru explained that it's not just about how much water you drink, but how you drink it. He shared a set of rules that, if followed for just 12 days, could bring about miraculous changes in the body. And the best part, these rules are simple, cost nothing to implement, and can be started right away. 1. Rule number 1. Timing is everything. Forget what you've heard about drinking 8 glasses a day at random times. The guru emphasized the importance of drinking water at specific times. First thing in the morning, start your day with 1-2 to two glasses of water on an empty stomach. This helps flush out toxins that have accumulated overnight and jumpstarts your metabolism. It's like giving your body an internal shower, washing away the waste products that have built up while you slept. One hour before meals prepares your digestive system for incoming food, like priming a pump to ensure your digestive juices are ready when the food arrives. One hour after meals aids digestion without diluting stomach acids. By waiting an hour, you give your body time to start breaking down the food before adding more water to the mix. Throughout the day, maintain a steady intake but avoid drinking large amounts at night to prevent disrupted sleep from nighttime bathroom trips. The guru explained that by following this timing, we align our water intake with our body's natural rhythms. It's like surfing, when you catch the wave at just the right moment, you ride it effortlessly. Similarly, when you drink water at these optimal times, your body can utilize it most effectively. Mm. Rule number two. Sit down and slow down. Have you ever seen someone chugging water while walking or standing? According to the guru, this is a big no-no. Always sit down to drink water and do it slowly. Take small sips, and here's the kicker. Hold each sip in your mouth for about four seconds before swallowing. Why? This simple act allows the water to mix with your saliva, which is naturally alkaline. When this mixture reaches your stomach, it helps balance acidity and boosts digestion. It's like giving your digestive system a mini spa treatment with each sip. The guru explained that when we stand and drink or gulp water quickly, we're not giving our body the chance to properly prepare for the incoming fluid. 
It's like trying to fill a moving car with gas. Messy and inefficient. By sitting and sipping slowly, we are allowing our body to fully receive and utilize the water. This mindful approach to drinking water can have a calming effect on our nervous system. In our fast-paced world, taking a moment to sit and slowly sip water can be a form of meditation, a brief respite from the chaos of daily life. Rule number three. Temperature matters. Put down that ice-cold water. The guru warned against drinking very cold water, especially with meals. Cold water forces your body to expend energy to warm it up before it can be used, slowing down digestion and potentially leading to digestive issues. He explained it like this. Imagine you're trying to wash greasy dishes. You wouldn't use cold water, would you? You'd use warm water because it's more effective at breaking down the grease. Similarly, room temperature or slightly warm water is more easily absorbed and utilized by your body. Instead, opt for room temperature or slightly warm water. This allows your body to absorb and utilize the water more efficiently without wasting precious energy. The guru even suggested adding a pinch of natural salt to warm water in the morning, explaining that this helps replace electrolytes and promotes better hydration. Re. Rule number three. Quality over quantity. While the guru didn't have access to modern water filtration systems, we now know the importance of drinking clean, pure water. Invest in a good water filter or choose high-quality spring water to ensure you're not introducing harmful contaminants into your body. The guru emphasized that the quality of water is just as important as the quantity. He advised the villagers to collect water from the cleanest part of the river, upstream from where animals drank or people bathed. In our modern context, this translates to being mindful of our water sources. Consider this, your body is constantly trying to eliminate toxins. If you're drinking water that contains chlorine, fluoride, or other contaminants, you're essentially adding to your body's toxic load. By choosing pure, clean water, you're supporting your body's natural detoxification processes rather than hindering them. Listen to your body. The guru emphasized the importance of tuning into your body's signals. Thirst is your body's way of saying it needs water, but by the time you feel thirsty, you're already mildly dehydrated. Learn to recognize early signs of dehydration, such as slight fatigue or difficulty concentrating. But here's a twist. The guru also warned against overhydration. Drinking too much water can dilute electrolytes and put strain on your kidneys. A good rule of thumb is to check the color of your urine. If it's pale yellow, you're well hydrated. If it's clear you did drink a lot of water. The guru explained this concept using the analogy of a plant. You wouldn't drown a plant by constantly pouring water on it, would you? You give it just enough water at the right times to keep it healthy and thriving. Our bodies are the same way. They need the right amount of water at the right times to function optimally.